Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders and bicep muscles. We're going to start with the greatest stretch, part of our dynamic stretching routine. Five repetitions each side followed by a deep squat. You may prefer to do cardio and that's absolutely fine. Five minutes of cardio is more than sufficient on a particular equipment which you prefer to do. Running, elliptical, cycle, whichever you want. But yes, make sure you at least have two to five minutes of dynamic stretching before you start your workout. Now, post dynamic stretching, yes, of course, we are going to do a couple of sets of warm up wherein we'll be moving weight for the particular muscle which we are going to work on. So, treat dynamic stretching as a compound movement wherein we work on our entire body's mobility. For deep squat, it's the usual. Push your glutes as far behind as possible and once your hamstrings are completely stretched, you sit in a deep squat at least for a few seconds, even a minute or more than that is absolutely fine. Now for the first mobility drill, since we're going to work on our shoulders and I always kind of add one or two mobility drills before I start working out on my shoulders, is plate rotations around your head. You can do 10 repetitions each side total 20 you can do it a couple of times the weight of the plate should just be enough you don't have to lift extremely heavy weight it's not a workout as such it's just like a warm-up while also getting through the mobility of the joint so i'm here holding a 10 kilo plate and taking it around my head post those i have done band pull up parts so again this is if you see is actually a workout for our ray delts but i'm using it as a mobility drill to improve my external rotation strength and a little bit of back ray delt stability now once we are done with the mobility drills we can start with our first exercise the first one is going to be ray delt uh, raises basically four sets 20 repetitions how do we perform these nothing new an incline bench setup lay on the incline bench facing down slightly tuck your chin in and then pull the dumbbells and then push the dumbbells basically when the dumbbells are in front of you ahead of you in a complete stretch position from there you pull them and then as they come close to your body near to your midline you push them as far behind as possible creating the maximum amount of contraction in your ray delt or the entire back since the arms are close to the body it will be a lot more demanding on your ray delts but we have to ensure that we cover the entire range of motion. We want a complete stretch and complete contraction. So push as far behind as possible while keeping your arms close to your body and then let your arms swing as far ahead as possible. Keeping your chin tucked in helps a lot in terms of not involving much of your traps, upper traps. They would work still, but yes, our ray delts are doing the majority of the work. Post completing those, we move on to bicep work wherein we start with our staple first exercise high cable curls stretched position working our bicep stand in front of the cable machine set it up all the way high at the highest point and from there grab the cable turn your body away from the cable so you're facing in the direction of the cable not in front of it but uh, in along the path of the cable and from there you start curling Always keep your bicep in a stretched position. So you would feel that stretch in your shoulder and in your chest muscle. And as you curl, the tension is always building up. Never let the cable or the weight completely rest. So always keep the tension high. And here you can see how it looks from the back. How stretched or how my body is positioned. I'm always looking down in front of me. And the cable and the bicep which I'm trying to curl is behind my behind my midline of my body. So working in a stretched position. 20 repetitions without a break when switching from one arm to the other. 30 to 45 seconds break in between sets. Post those, I started doing cable curls. Now with cable curls, you want to stand just a little bit be, uh, away from the cable. So you're not standing over the cable. So you never come in line with the cable your arms are always so the cable is basically pulling you a little bit forward there's also a forward pull not only the up or downward pull what does this do this keeps the tension high because every time the cable gets into a straight line you lose all the tension so we want to always keep pulling on the bicep muscle and from there you start doing your curls 
here it's a very simple way to do the exercise just keep your arms in a comfortable middle grip uh, middle distance kind of a grip if you have a longer cable uh, attachment use that otherwise a regular cable attachment a straight rod is more than sufficient now make sure you get as many repetitions as possible with a good challenging weight so three sets of these 20 repetitions in a controlled manner and you can see how well i'm able to achieve a good amount of pump in my muscle a lot of blood flow a lot of challenge so yes a simple exercise can always be made challenging if done in the right manner so make sure you stay a little bit away from the cable post completing these we move on to the shoulder work again this time lateral races four sets 20 repetitions seated if you prefer to do standing that's absolutely fine but i wanted to do try out seated so that i can control a little bit more in terms of the tension or uh, build up in my lateral delts now i'm doing it with a couple of five kilo dumbbells nothing heavy is required because i'm targeting more on the controlled repetitions and also the way i do it at a higher volume more number of repetitions you want to focus in pushing the weight up using your elbows leading with your elbows so more tension on your lateral delts yes you can also take your arms all the way out but then sometimes tension builds up on the el uh, elbow joint so mix and mix it up a little bit to get mac as much possible use what works for you the best you should just feel the pressure on your lateral delts while pushing the weight beside you there are multiple ways to do it this is one of the way post completing these we move on to preacher curls pretty simple setup if there is a preacher, a preacher setup available at your gym you already know what to do just make sure the height is perfectly aligned so before lifting the weight set yourself against the bench and see if you can do a comfortable curl and then start doing it with the weight because oftentimes you set the height up weirdly and you're not able to curl through the full range of motion here again i want to go completely up complete contraction and complete stretch now if you don't have a preacher setup you can obviously do this on an inclined bench one arm at a time we have done that previously also in my previous videos the same kind of a same exercise here it's a pre setup so we can use that you can also use dumbbells if you don't have a barbell for some reason you can use dumbbell and go one arm at, one arm at a time or both the arms at a time absolutely up to you i'm using a easy bar uh, easy uh, easy bar now if you prefer you can use a straight bar and again it's just a choice i'm a little bit more comfortable using an easy bar on preacher because it puts my wrist in a comfortable position and i'm able to curl through full range of motion post completing those we are going to end our workout with overhead presses four sets 20 repetitions I have equipment so i'm going to use that if you don't you can use dumbbells or you can use a, a regular barbell to do those the way i grip is what is a little bit important my palms are facing towards me so supinated grip now make sure you push all the way up and come down all the way down feeling that stretch in your front delts and your lateral delts and then you when you push up push all the way up maximize the contraction in your shoulder muscle it's important to accumulate as many repetitions as possible so target 20 repetition mark don't go very heavy because if you go heavy you won't be able to go through the full range of motion you'll get tired out thanks to all the work which we have already done so keep the weight just challenging enough to achieve the number of repetitions and end the workout at a high and that's it we are done for today we're going to finish off with a simple vertical hang to decompress our shoulders stretch out that biceps hang as long as possible one minute is ideal if not you're able to do only 20 to 30 seconds do it a couple of times completely good for our shoulders thank you for watching the video if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated thank you once again i will see you in the next video have a great day